Hi friends, welcome to Shell Scripting Tutorial. In this session, we are going to learn about the how to compress the files. Okay, so whenever you wanted to, so why the compression is required here? It is that if you want to send a files, like uh, huge files or multiple files attaching to the email, or if you want to upload somewhere else, so if you send a multiple files on the email or uh, multiple files to be uploaded onto the different location so you have to wait like one file to be uploaded and you have to wait for another file so in this case we don't want it to wait for uh, other file to be uploaded something like that you can simply compress all the files or zip the files as a single file combine all the files as a single file and upload it or send it it would be easy and comfortable to do okay but here there are the two mechanisms in this here so most of the people thinks that uh, using these like uh, simply doing in a file name okay like file one dot tab seems to say okay this is an a compressed to file but in this case it's not okay it is an important to understand the distinction between archive and compressed file. An archive file is a collection of files and directories stored in one file. The archive file is not compressed, simply say. And archive file is, uh, is the same size what the files has currently. The same size would be a archive file. So the archive file is used to simply mechanism that so suppose if you want to copy uh, if you want to archive a file so suppose say um, ARK1234 ARK file something like this I have the file okay so 1 2 3 4 5 files I have here like this so one day I have taken all these files into an archive later what I did here is I have updated the file 1 and a file 5 file 1 and file 5 then if you want to take again a archive so what it does here it is what are the files you have updated this is only the taking in the consideration and update to the archive so simply say is simply meaning that so this is the file identified by the files timestamp or its created data the ownership or the file size all those parameters and its update to the archive so in this case it's very useful for us to take the backups whenever you are running in a, into the multiple files suppose say in one directory path i have 100 to 200 files okay every day if you are taking this 100 to 200 files as a backup then your archive size is going to be huge because we are going to keep all this data into the another directory or another place where you are copying the same data into the multiple times but archive will give you a good mechanism that okay no don't want to don't no need to do a copies of multiple times so simply do any whatever the files has been updated here you can simply update to that archive so that you can save the n number of the data of data size to the destination where you are copying okay let's see this how is going to work in uh, any situation okay now what I'm doing to do here it is I have few files here okay let's see tar iPhone CVF okay what I'm going to do here it is simply I'm going to create a archive archive dot tar and ARK star so that I'm going to add all these ARK dot txt files to the archive archive file okay so archive file has been created okay now this archive file if you let's see here as I said the example here if I want to update a file for let's take here hi welcome to shell scripting tutorial provide provided by ARK 
empty okay let's save this file and if you want to update uef and do a same file archive file here and ARK star so now it's going to update only one file it's not going to update all the files okay let's see see this is the simple mechanism that archive is not a compressed file archive is in a a group of files combined into the one bucket that is called as an archive but whereas if you do a gun zip or bun zip or zipping the files so that that time the files are going to be compressed okay where we use a compression method to do here so let's say i am going to do a compression here cv zf okay and i'm going to compress one so compress dot 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 dz the kanji format ark dot star okay now my files has been compressed in this let's do here what is the size of this file what is the size of compressed see it's 20 kb it's in a 4 kb because the tar the archive file does not compress the files it's just stored into the single bucket as a single file but compression will be applied as any whenever you're going to do with any compression okay whereas you can also do a tar iphone c uh, we can do simply using a cjvf as a um, bj2 extension cjvf okay and uh, let's say um, banzi dot 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 sorry dot tar dot bz2 and ark dot star so that our bunch of file will be created and let's see that what is the difference between here so this is also compressed file if you want to extract you can simply use xvf and provide the file name so let's remove all the files from here ARK star now extract the files what we have compressed sorry so all the files will be extracted from here so before extracting if you'd like to see a files what are there in the archive you can simply use star iphone tf and provide your archive file name here so that all the files will be visible which are there into the archive okay tar iphone tf and provide your file name so which is helpful for us to see hey, what are the files are already there in that compressed file okay this is about the compressing the files or archiving the files for the backup thanks for watching please subscribe but subscribe button for more upcoming tutorial